Hey guys and welcome back to the channel Mumbai Car Boy. Yes, today we are here with a beautiful bike. Uh, I've never had the opportunity to ride this bike, but here uh, this is the first time I've ridden this bike. So it is the Java 42. Now this bike was brought to me by Ketan and he was uh, actually in the mood of actually getting a PPF done. Because of course most of us love our bikes and we are very very particular when it gets scratches. So this is the uh, Java 42. I'll show you uh, exactly. That's Ketan's bike of course. And we're going to show you the process of how we do the uh, uh, PPF for the bike. Of course, the bike was left overnight with me and we made sure that, you know, we took care of the bike because af after all, it is the owner who actually trusts us when actually going ahead and leaving the bike with us. So yes, this is the Java and we're going to now show you how exactly the PPF is done on this beautiful bike. And we'll also tell you a small review of how, uh, you know, Ketan felt about this bike in the description, of course. And if there's anything, you can always ask me and DM me directly. First time I had my hands on the Java 42. And it's a very, very nice bike. You have less of vibration. It's a smooth bike for actual daily use. So yes, uh, Ketan wanted it to look more beautiful and long lasting, especially the tank. Uh, so here is the installation of the PPF. So we started off with the tank, we were actually uh, going to go ahead and you know put it into parts and pieces. The tank we had to do it in three parts is because the curviness of the tank was actually making it difficult for the PPF to actually hold on. And this is not the uh, regular PPF that you might have seen, some people put it um, with one sheet. But this is but a PPF by Lumar, so it's much more thicker and you can see it as well. So that's the reason to actually give it a you know proper mold as per the tank. We had to do it as three parts as you might have seen it on my bike as well Laila also has the PPF on the tank done in three parts it's the same process that we followed and of course you can see over here we actually had to use the heat gun as well because as I said earlier as well the thickness of the PPF is so uh, thick that you know it lasts long it serves your purpose these keys these uh, small you know bags if you have your bag in the front of your shoulder on your chest Again, this all these things will avoid scratches because the PPF is so thick. The only thing when you can actually damage the PPF is when someone deliberately goes ahead and uses a blade or a cutter and that's exactly where you could go ahead and damage the PPF. So let's go ahead and enjoy the uh, installation on the tank. You'll see it uh, being, being uh, installed in both the parts now slowly. So go ahead and enjoy it.
it was now time to actually go ahead and put the PPF on the mud guards. You would ask me why on the mud guards, but yes, it also helps protect the paint over here. So PPF exactly means uh, paint protective film. So that is exactly why we are putting it on the mud guard because when you are going into when you're doing off roading or when you're doing your regular roads as well, there are pebbles that actually keep flying, and that actually uh, creates a scratch or a dent on your uh, mud guards. So that's exactly why we actually went ahead and covered the entire mudguard. The mudguard was covered in three parts. It's only because of the Java setup of uh, holding the mudguard is through the thick rod that you see. So the mudguard was actually done into three parts. Also, the valid point over here, I would like to uh, tell all of you as well that when you do the PPF, uh, you don't need to do it every year because that's a misconception in everyone's minds. So I have my PPF on my mud guards, on my side panels from the first installation. That's approximately one and a half year old. So you don't need to actually remove the PPF from the mud guards. You can see him doing the rare mud guard as well now. The only PPF that you would need to at times uh, change is only the tank because I I have done that as well because some idiot when I had gone ahead and given my bike for washing actually put the diesel cloth on the tank as well thinking that the tank was a plain tank and did not know that the PPF was on it. So where the cuts was, where the partition was of the PPF, uh, diesel seeped in and it became turned black. So yes, if you keep your bike long in the sun, the PPF uh, gradually or you know not, not that very very soon, I think one and a half year down the line, it will change a little bit of the color. But if you have gone ahead and seen my last year's video where we had uh, removed, uh, uninstalled the PPF, you know, ripped it off, it does not damage the uh, paint. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a link right on top on the left hand side. You will see a link of how we actually removed the PPF and will it protect your uh, paint or no? You will get the answer on that video. So it was fun working on the Java 42. It spent approximately we spent approximately four and a half hours. Uh, lucky enough, we had the entire day, and because of everyone knows there was a huge cutout of electricity in the in, in the entire city. But yes, we were finally done, and we were actually now waiting for Ketan's uh, reaction. Well, you will see his reaction. He was a little shy to come on the camera, but you will see his uh, uh, feedback in the descriptions below. So this is uh, uh, how exactly the PPF was put on his Java 42. Hope you enjoyed the actual PPF uh, installation. That was how we actually got it done. The tank was done separately, the, both the rear and the front mud guards, of course, and the side panels. We were trying to actually do uh, more of it, but then we could not do it. We wanted to actually try and put the speedometer or the headlight. It was not fitting. But yes, that is how it is done. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If there's any questions, please leave it down in the comment box and I'll be happy to answer them. This is Mumbai Car Boy saying thank you so much guys. See you on our next vlog. Bye-bye.